So I recently had a question from someone that wanted to know what would be better to use, coconut oil or olive oil. So I want to go through the, some of the differences, uh, but they're both really, really good oils, but have slightly different purposes. So let's start with olive oil, okay? Uh, olive oil, ha it's heavy on the omega-6 fatty acids, which typically will cause inflammation. Um, but olive oil is one of the only oils being omega-6 that will not cause inflammation. It's an anti-inflammatory. So it's 78% monosaturated. Coconut oil is 92% saturated fat. And honestly, saturated fat is not a bad thing, okay? Uh, it's very stable. It will not increase bad cholesterol. It will not clot your arteries. It really has no side effects. Despite being a saturated fat, it's not the type of fat that will cause heart attacks or insulin resistance or anything like that, okay? Now, olive oil is great to put on your salad. It has tons and tons of phytonutrients. I mean, the list is very, very long. So it, phytonutrients are those extra nutrients that give you extra health benefits that go beyond vitamins and minerals. There's not hardly any minerals or protein in olive oil. Actually, there's no protein. There's very little vitamins, except there's some vitamin E, and there's no minerals. It's mainly healthy fatty acids, which are essential. That means your body can't make them, but it needs them. So it has uh, oleic acid, 83%, uh, linolenic acid, 21%, uh, palmitic acid, 20%, and there's, there's several other ones as well. So it's healthy in that it gives you these fatty acids that are essential. But the biggest benefit for olive oil um, is the heart benefit, supporting a healthy heart. Uh, I believe the reason for that is because it stabilizes blood sugars. It helps to reduce insulin, which is underneath the heart problem, but it has some direct effects on the heart itself uh, as far as healing the inside of the artery as well, and not to mention some vitamin E, but there are other benefits as well, um, one being an anti-inflammatory like I mentioned before. Now, coming over the coconut oil, uh, coconut oil is really good for your immune system. It has something called lauric acid. Um, lauric acid is high in breast milk and coconut oil. Okay, so you have to make sure that the quality is there, but um, lauric acid is really good to support an immune system, uh, antimicrobial. Um, you can put a drop of garlic oil and put it in your ear to help ear infections, but you can do also do the same thing with olive oil. You can put a drop of garlic oil in the olive oil and just put a drop in your ear and that will actually help your infections as well. Because it supports and protects the flora, the friendly bacteria, and just attacks the, uh, the pathogenic microbes. So it's pretty cool. Um, coconut oil also has phytonutrients. Uh, I believe uh, olive oil has more, but it still has numerous uh, phytonutrients. You can put it in your coffee, okay, and you could blend it up into like a nice keto coffee. Uh, it also will increase HDL and lower LDL. Um, it's great uh, to, as a part of a ketogenic diet, to give you energy. Uh, you can put in all sorts of recipes for keto bombs. And again, both of these have their benefits. Um, I wouldn't even say one is better than the other. I would consume them both, uh, but they do slightly different things. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, you know what? I just wanted to say thank you for watching these videos. You made it this far. I appreciate your attention and your precious time.